Eilert. I can, I can show you some pictures from our honeymoon. Tasman, where are those pictures from our honeymoon? <laughs> They're down here. Ah, oh, here it is. Head of Gabler. Married George Tessman. Yes, that's how it goes. Hedda, how can you just throw yourself away like that? Tell me. All right, stop that. Please. What do you mean? Hedda Gabler. How could you go and do this? If you keep saying head a gabbler like that, I'm not going to talk to you. Even when we're alone? You can think it, but you can't say it. Not like that. To me, it's your love for George Tesman. You're crazy. And you don't love him? And I'm not going to be unfaithful. I'm not having any of that. Just tell me this one thing. And I stumbled on another box. George, do you remember this funny little town? Oh, yeah. That was in the San Juan Mountains. Beautiful. We stayed overnight there, remember? I met 12 German tourists. You gotta get out there, Eiler. Answer one question for me. Did she love me at all? I don't know. To me, it seemed like we were companions. Very true friends. You were so open with me. You wanted it that way. There was something beautiful and scary about it. And no one suspected.
act. This is a liberation. A liberation? Yes. To know that somebody can live freely and truly. <laughs> no, Hera. No. I know what you're going to say. Because you. You are a kind of specialist, too. He meant so much to you, didn't he? Eilert lived his life freely to the end. His last... His last act... was beautiful. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna have to disillusion you. Why? Because he didn't shoot himself freely. He didn't. No. This whole thing didn't quite go down the way I described it. You lied. Yeah. I did a little editing. What do you mean? For Taya's sake. He's already dead. In the hospital? Never regained consciousness. What else did you lie about? Didn't happen in his room. Well, Eilert think... was found shot in the back hallway of Miss Rita Valdez. No. No, he wasn't. Yes. He would not have gone back there again. He went back there. This evening. He went back. They say he was uh, accusing them of stealing something from him, that he kept screaming about some lost child. And I thought that that was his manuscript. But... Uh, he tore that up. So it must have been his wallet, right? That's where they found him. With a discharge pistol in his pocket and a fatal wound. In his chest? No. In the stomach. More or less. What is this curse that everything I touch turns ugly and ridiculous? Hedda, Hedda, there's something else. There's a detail. What? The pistol he was carrying. He must have stolen. No, no, he didn't steal no, listen, it. You are going to find that that is going to be the only explanation possible. Yeah. Shh.